It's okay, little mama. It's okay. You got a baby. Where's your baby? Yeah. Yeah, no, stay over there. Have more babies. I'm here. It's okay. You being a good mama. Yeah. It's okay. Have your babies. Can't put him right there. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me move that. Oh my goodness, Bella Boo. Really? Right by the door? Sweetie, that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea, sweetheart. I don't know what to do. Should I move her into a box or something? I can't take her in. She's being really, really hostile towards Martin, like really going at him, attacking him. But I see her trying to protect her baby. I don't know if she, when the rest of them are coming. Here it comes. Here comes another one. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. You're doing a good job. You're doing a real good job. Yes. Yes, you are. You're good, Mama. Yeah, you're a good, Mama. I see feet. I see black and white. Good job, Mama. Good job. So two have come out. They're already nursing. She's meowing in pain. I'm expecting another one's coming. I just got off the phone with Animal Control, who I've been talking to this week. Because she was really, really huge. I knew she was going to give birth soon. And I know I can't take on more kittens. They've already decided to make their home here. The, the little black and white one and the gray one. Y'all know I've been taking care of Bellaboo and I just I can't take on more kittens so I was calling animal control I called animal control twice this week and then just now got off the phone with them they can't my city it's a tri-cities it's like it's like three or four cities I don't know why they call it tri-cities when it's four cities but it's four cities that all deal with the same um with the same shelter the same animal shelter and apparently only certain cities are on dispatch certain days my city is not on dispatch today so the lady i just got off the phone with tried to get online and uh, i mean tried to call the other two cities two or three cities to see if anybody was available and unfortunately they're not they said they might be able to come out and get them if i'm able to Put her in a box or a crate or something but i'm terrified she has been so aggressive she attacked my ankles she attacked my calf granted she was in labor a few hours ago so heck yeah she ain't gonna be friendly but i'm scared of her right now i i, I don't want to i don't want to try and touch her and i end up freaking attacked but i think another one's coming because she's doing the meow meow thing and her leg is 
popped up, but these two little ones are already nursing. But anywho, yeah, the city says unless I have them in a, in a trap or a box or a crate or something, they can't come pick them up. Um, um, so my city can come out for them on Monday. We'll see how that works. I don't know how long kitty, kitty birth lasts. But she's right in front of my door, guys. I didn't want to leave her out here by herself. She was out in the open. Y'all saw where she started. And then I sat down and started baby talking her. And she brought her little baby over here to the corner and plopped down and pushed out the other one. So I, I feel terrible. Maybe after I think they're all out, I'll try and situate her. Ooh, that was a wasp. I'll try and situate her in something. But for now, I'm going to let nature take its course. It's okay. You are a good mama. She is chasing away any cat that tries to come near. Uh-oh, another baby coming? Yeah, Ding Dong was loitering around. I know, sweetie. I got you back. I got you back. I think another one's coming. I got you back. I got you. I'll keep the kitties away. You just do what Mama Nature wants you to do. I won't let no kitties come, okay? Now stay out here. Poor oh, baby. Another one's coming? Hmm? Another one's coming? Oh, it's okay, sweetie. It's okay. I got you back. I'm sorry you're going through this. But this will be your this will be your last litter, okay? We're gonna get you all fixed up. Yeah, we're gonna get you all fixed up and the babies too. And then you can just live your best life as a house kitty, okay? Yeah. She's such a good mama. I, walk, I walked in for just a little bit, you know, to gather myself because it's pretty gruesome, actually. Uh, once they come out and the cleaning of them and all is pretty gruesome and I don't do stuff like that. But um, I went in to gather myself and as I'm walking out, she's running. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's not abandoning these babies. But no, she was chasing off Ding Dong. And then she came right back to her babies and she grabs them by the little neck and puts them in the furthest, furthest, furthest bit of the corner over there. And uh, lied down on them. So, that instinct, man. That hit. I'm getting emotional, guys. That instinct to protect your babies is pretty amazing. to do so I brought out this little house maybe she can go in for a little privacy um I'm doing all this reading on what to do when kitties are giving birth and everything says leave them be check on them periodically but leave them be so I came in um I know but I'm just gonna keep an eye out make sure that ding dong and the other cats don't come bothering Moo Moo was out here snooping and she was growling about ready to attack. If I get too close, she hisses, so I ain't trying to pick her up. Animal control can bite the big one. Hopefully they'll be safe uh, until Monday. I just came back from the grocery store and little miss is in the little house, so that's good. She has some shelter some level of security. Hola guys! Woo! Happy Saturday. And when I tell y'all today is not turning out the way I had planned on it to be, I'm not exaggerating. Today I was going to do an update on my final um, on the backyard on how gorgeous and wonderful it turned out and I was going to cook. We were going to make 
pollo guisado con papas en chile. Stewed chicken with potatoes in a chile sauce. But anyway, oh, I need to turn that on. Um, but it didn't turn out that way. As I was working out in the yard, Bella Boo was attacking me, guys. She was going at my ankles. She was uh, hissing at me. If I got too close to her, she'd come at me. She went at my um, my calf. She like clawed into my calf, and I was just walking by her, and then she kept meowing, kept meowing, kept meowing, and then I figured, uh oh, she might be in labor, and she is. She is in labor. Uh, started popping them out maybe three hours ago, and um, I have no idea what to do. She's never been aggressive with me. Um, so I'm scared to do anything. I'm scared to move her. I try to put her, um, in a little, um, in a little, um, on a little blanket and stuff. And she just hissed at me. So I said, okay, fine. I'll just, I'll leave you be. And, uh, I ended up calling animal control, uh, because I had been calling animal control to come and pick her up before she went into labor. Cause she can't keep doing this. You know, she needs to be fixed and adopted and she is just not okay with Martin. She is not a fan of Martin. Her and Martin do not get along so I don't think she would do well in the house. Um, so I had been calling animal control, you know, to try and give her a shot at life and as is usual with this city I live in, it's all a bunch of malarkey, all a bunch of bullstein all a bunch of bull crap where's my garlic salts because i'm out of garlic um and according to them they can't do anything until monday so she's gonna birth her babies out there and hopefully where's my garlic powder hopefully she'll be okay until monday I think I got her situated for now. Um, but uh, where's my garlic powder? Oh, I have garlic pepper. We're gonna use that because I don't know where my garlic powder is and I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything since seven this morning. That's another thing. Got up at seven o'clock this morning because little dude's dad wanted to pick him up early because they were heading over to uh, Canton, Texas. Y'all know where we go for Halloween? We do the, uh, we do the, the haunted uh, corn maze. Well, they also do an Easter bonanza, bunny palooza, something like that. And uh, since they have small ones in their family, um, they went ahead and decided they were going to do that and then they're going to go to the lake tomorrow. But anyway, it involved little dude having to get up at 7 and he got picked up around 8 30 and they're there now because I'm tracking my kid uh, but I haven't eaten since 7 this morning when I uh, made him some hash browns it is 4 17 I'm starving like I said the plan today was show you guys the yard how it's completely finished um, and we were gonna cook but <laughs> That ain't gonna happen. So I am making my pollito guisado in, sa in salsa roja con papas. Uh, and I wanted to do a cooking video with you guys, but I'm starving. Um, so I thought I'd do it this way. Instead of, you know how I usually lay everything out and show you guys everything? I'm just gonna go through the motions with you guys one on one. So what I've done is I cut up half a white onion. Okay, half a white onion. We're going to use chile guajillo. It's these little dried chiles, like maracas. I'm about to boil those, make them soft, and then I'm going to make a little salsita with it. Um, oh, hello. My bullion. I need my bullion. I need my bullion, y'all. I just bought a new one. Where's my new one? I guess I could finish off this one. Yeah, I'm I'm real discombobulated, guys. 
it's nerve-wracking watching that poor kitty go through some things, you know? But, uh, it is what it is. I'm just going to hope nature takes its course and she has some healthy babies. And I'm going to miss her, but I want the best for her. And the best is not outside in my yard. And the best for Martin would not be for her inside the house. Let me wash my chicken. Something's giving me the sneezles. Okay. You can use any body part you want. I'm using legs. These are the legs that I was going to make caldo with last weekend. And I didn't end up doing it because I don't remember why. Probably got busy or something. But uh, they're best by or used by April 1st. So I got to get on it. I'm just going to season. I was going to do garlic salt and comino salt and pepper. But I'm going to use the garlic pepper seasoning and some comino. Okay. I've been craving this for a while. Get all up in there. Get all tossed up in there. I have my oil heating. I'm just going to sear them real quick before I drop in my uh, onion. Real simple, guys. Real simple, real basic. It's chicken, potatoes, onion, and a little sauce made out of guajillo. Um water that you're going to drop some broth into and then you'll just let it all simmer and stew and be gorgeous and delicious but you gotta season your bird you gotta season the bird okay okay I'm going to leave the skin on because I like when the little skin peels off in the sopita, the little um, soup part. I'm going to get my chicken legs in here. I mean, my skin is so tore up, guys, from all the working in the yard and the lotion and the washing and the scrubbing of the hands. Oh, this salt and stuff is killing me. get my chilies ready all you do is snip off the tip a little chili circumcision and let out the seeds you can leave the seeds in but it can be bitter or sometimes the guajillos will give you a little punch of something that you really don't want I don't want so cut the colita off for this amount of chicken, I'm going to use two of them. Tippy tip. Slice. Shake all your seeds out. Cut off the colita. Boop. Ah, the colita fell in the water. Get out. And we're just going to drop them into the boiling water. And let them get soft. Now I'm going to get my taters. Our taters are blooming, guys. I keep my taters in a rice bag. Our potatoes are blooming. Well, not blooming. They're gro they're sprouting. So only thing so far, no online. Uh, our peas, our green peas, have a few little shoots out. My hands are so torn up, guys. Oh, everything hurts. I cannot open my tater bag. Are you kidding me? Stop fighting with me. I've been craving this. Don't make me rip you. I love this little bag. I thrifted this little bag, and it has been my tater bag for some time now. Why, when my hands are so busted up, is it doing this? Oh, I can't get into my taters, y'all. There we go. Um, get some 
good size ones. I think that'll work. Okay. Let me wash my taters. Wash the tates. Let's turn over this chicken. Let's get this chicken turned around. Little chiles. How are y'all doing, little chiles? Limpy, limpy, limpy. I'm going to leave them in there a little longer. Turn these here chickens over. Anywho, what else has been going on, guys? Oh, I have this video and then one I started the other day, this past week, of, um, I did a, not a full get ready with me, but it was kind of a during getting ready for the, um, job fair that I went to on Tuesday. Uh, and then that day did the job fair and then I ended up going to a community meeting, um, with the city manager and district representatives and I figured if I don't go now when I can actually speak to the city manager I'm probably never going to get a live person to talk to me about the water meter thing so I went there so that video I don't know when I'm going to finish that one but that video um um um, um shows some of that interaction with with the powers that be. And then I don't remember what else I was aiming for with that video. It was to get ready with me. Um, I don't remember what else is in there, but it was a little bit of get ready with me. Uh, I think I talked to you guys after the, the job fair or after before. I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, but then, yeah, I got all obsessed and consumed by finishing the yard that I never, that I never, I'm sorry, I'm hearing yells all over. I think that's my thing. I don't want him to go outside because she's right there by the door. And uh, she's been real, real aggressive with him, like running at him and attacking him. But she's been doing that to any boy cat, I've noticed. I guess it's just her mommy instinct, but I'm hoping he doesn't want to go outside because there's no easy way for him to go in or out without causing her stress or him getting the heck beat out of him. Um, and I wouldn't mess with a mama bear. Not a brand new mama bear. But, um, yeah, so I got to finish that video before we put this one up. I was going to make rice and beans today to go along with my little pollito guisado, but Mother Nature took over, so that ain't going to happen, but I went across the street uh, to the um, little Mexican grocery store uh, and grabbed some homemade tortillas. I love their tortillas. Got some homemade tortillas and um, picked up some refried beans there. I hope they're good. I've never had their refrieds. But um, I can do without the rice, but I really wanted some refrites. Okay, so the chicken's on. I just turned the heat up. I'm starving, guys. I'm going to slice up my taters. Into little cubes. Here's my frijolitos refritos, my little refried beans. I need some cilantro. Got some lime to squidge on top and one more onion because your girl is using a whole lot of onion. And these are the tortilla guys. If y'all have a supermercado El Cerrito or Supermercado Monterrey near you guys, they make their tortillas homemade. These are still hot. They make 
a variety of tortillas, but these are my favorite. They come right off of the belt and then they pack them up and sell them. I think these are like two something for this many. I want to dig into them right now. Usually, I don't make it home before I open them up in the parking lot and eat like two or three. But um, let me wash my trough. This reminds me of the ruda that my mom used to do the limpias with, the cleansings when they thought you were possessed or somebody had given you an evil eye or whatever. They they did these prayers and these rubs with ruda, not cilantro, but that's what this reminds me of every time I wash them. But anywho, my chicken sizzling is about time. Let it clean as a go, clean as a go. Oh, there's mine. No, that's the old one. I don't know what I did with my new... Polo, my new bullion. I can't find my garlic. It's probably, it has to be in the same place as my garlic. My garlic powder is. Because I can't find the new chicken bouillon I bought. Y'all want to know why I can't find my new chicken bouillon and my garlic powder? This is why. This is why. Out of sight, out of mind. Stir these up a little. I usually do thighs, but I already told y'all. That's what I had on hand, y'all. Okay, so while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and dump in my cebolla. My onion, my cebolla. My onion. I ain't making me like bring myself. Okay. Put up my taters. Into cubes. Aye. Smallish cubes. And not too small. How's your weekend, guys? things are y'all doing for this Resurrection Sunday or Easter, however, whatever you call it, in your neck of the woods, in your household, in your family, what y'all doing? Barbecue, lake, anything? We are doing our barbecue next week when my friends are back in town and little dude is home. Now little dude is supposed to play his dad again because he gets in the first, the third, and the sixth week of every month um and next week is the first of april this week is the third of march so i'm hoping his dad gives him a little grace and lets him stay home or just plain old forget i mean trust me at this point little dude little dude ain't sad about not going. Sometimes he wants to go, but like he didn't want to go this weekend, but I'm kind of glad he did. I think he would have been traumatized by watching poor mama out there having them babies. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That smells so good. That smells so good. But, um, now we're going to do our, our fun stuff this coming week. Um, in my pretty yard. In my pretty little yard. Okay. So there are my taters in these size cubes because I'm going to let it cook in there for a while with the broth and all. So now... I'm going to chop up my salant so it'll be ready when I am. I love cilantro. I know a lot of people don't, but I love it. I think it's delicious. It's bright and fresh. And it just does the most to guisos and stews and this kind of thing. Just love it. 
and I cut up them stems too. I've seen people, I grew up with people who would pull the leaves off individually. Ain't nobody have time for that. That's crazy talk. That is crazy talk. But there's my cilantro. Okay. Now I'm going to get my chiles out into my blender. I'm going to stir up this chicken a little. Okay. It's all nice and stirred. I'm going to dump in my weeds, my yerritas, my grass, my salant. Now I was going to use a jalapeno. I have jalapenos that are grown on my bush. Um, but them suckers were so hot, guys. I don't want to ruin my my little guiso. So. That's why I opted for the chile guajillo. Now I'm going to throw in my taters. Okay. Get another stir. I got one mater. Let's see if it's good. Let's see if it's okay. Cheap It has seen better days, but it is still nice and firm. I'm so hungry, guys. I'm starving. Thanks, darling. So Bleach my kitchen. I gotta bleach my kitchen, guys. I'm fooling around with chicken. I gotta bleach my kitchen. Take out my chiles guajillos. Dump them in there. Well, I might witness on this video my slice of my hands open, but I'm tired. And my cutting board is in the sink where there was chicken stuff. I have a bleach in the sink, so can't use it. You know what? I better not. Knowing me, y'all know me. I better not play with my life. Better not play with my life. I'm just gonna cut these maters. It don't even matter, honey. They're gonna get all blended anyway. Cut my maters in chunkies. And chunky monkeys. I hope I don't need tomato for anything else. Because I'm out. I need to get more onion. I remembered that. But. Heck, I'm just glad I had one. Because I would have been upset. I already couldn't find my garlic salt. Heck, I already had to use garlic salt. Because. I don't know my garlic um, powder is. And I'm out of garlic. Although, I will tell you uh, the garlic I had wasn't looking too, too good, so I ended up uh, planting it. We'll see what happens out there. Let's see what's growing out there. Not much. Not yet. So I got my guajillos, a whole tomato. Oh, my tomatoes, guys. Those are pick up the chunk. Those Roma tomatoes are 
growing like gangbusters. Yup. Mr. Mashikin. Mr. Mashikin. Now at this point you can use the water from your guajillo, but it might be bitter, so I'm just gonna use water water. Pour in that consomme. The light's weird. Mm. Um water. Una botella de agua. I'm going to stew the heck out of this, so I want to make sure that I have enough of everything. I'm doing it by the eyeball. I know. Some of y'all will be like, Mel, what the heck? I'm not making salsa, y'all. I'm making a soup. I'm making a soup base, so I don't know how to make sense anyway. Okay. Fun shot. That's the fun shot. I said you can strain it if you want. I do because sometimes the guajillo will leave um, the little skins and they irk my soul. So. <sighs> this gets the tomato skin and the guajillo skin and you end up with this pulpy mess right here. But Mel, why would you waste that? I'm not. What I'm going to do, put a little hot water in chill and pour it right over. Oh, you guys, she's out there meowing so pitiful and sad. Poor baby. Okay. Gonna let that go for about 35 40 minutes until I'm sure the chicken is cooked. And I cook it honestly until the chicken is falling off the bone. That way I know there's no E. coli, no salmonella. Uh, but that's gonna cook. And then towards the end, I'll taste it and make sure that the sopita, the little caldo, the soup part is still tasty. And we're done. Little refried beans, warm tortilla. We're good to go. Let's check on mama. Oh crap, where'd she go? Look. An all white one, guys. They must be milk drunk because they're quiet. Where's mama? Uh oh. Hi, mama. What you doing? How are you? Are you gonna scratch me? Please don't scratch me again, please. I'm your friend. I'm your friend. Okay. I guess it was just labor pains making you attack me, huh? Your babies are fine. I gotta go get my babies. I gotta go get my babies. Go to your babies. Oh. My children. I tried to hold out, but the tortillas were calling me. Nummy. It smells so good in here. You appreciate home cooking. When you've waited all day for it. Well, not waited all day for the food. Because that cooks real quick. But waited all day to cook it. Mm. I'm tired. Couldn't wait for dinner either. My soda. I'm 
I'm so tired. I'm going to sleep so well. I think I'm going to eat. I'm going to lie down. And see if a nap sneaks up on me. It's 5.15. It's ready. I was just puttering around. Cleaning up. Straightening up. Checking on the moo moo. Well, not moo moo. The mama out there. She's back in the house with her babies. But. I don't know how long this video is going to be. And I don't want to end up repeating anything I might have said in the video from Tuesday. So, we're going to call it a day, guys. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday. I really do. I think y'all are awesome. I want y'all to have good days. So, until my next go around, I hope you have a fantastic Easter Resurrection Sunday with your family, friends, or just solo relaxing. <sighs> hope you enjoy a chocolate bunny and a peep. I don't like peeps, but you can't let Easter roll by without having a Cadbury egg, a peep, some jelly beans, or a milk chocolate bunny. So, hope your sweet tooth is good to y'all. Until my next go around, I love y'all. Bye, Tess.